Welcome back to another video guys. I'm up north truck camping for a couple days and the weather is taking an absolute nasty turn. It's going to be dumping rain for the next day straight. Temperature is going to plummet and we're supposed to also get some snow. So, so stay tuned. It's going to get real interesting. Let's get into the video. Oh geez. So it begins. Just made it back to my campsite where I spent last night. And as you guys can see, the bad weather has moved in. Just picked up some food, guys. After doing some fishing, a little bit of exploring, I'm back here at my campsite. Really like this spot, so I think I'm probably gonna stay here again tonight. And it is going to be raining the rest of the day and tonight, and it's about 40 degrees right now, and tonight it's gonna be dropping into the low 30s, high 20s, and there's a good chance it's gonna be raining all night, and then we're probably gonna get some snow, snow even in the morning. So it's gonna be some fun, some fun Michigan March weather. Ride out this nasty spring weather and try to make the most of it. But yeah, it should be a good video, guys. Stay tuned. Let's do it. It's about a little after four right now. I got probably another two or three hours worth of daylight. It's, it's, it's peaceful, nice listen to the rain. And yeah, I'm just gonna kinda hang out for the next couple hours before I get dinner going. what it's looking like in here. A little gloomy right now. The biggest annoyance with the rain is trying to get in. All the water likes to pool right here and then drip like crazy right into the edge of my sleeping bag. So that's what I got these rain pants for. <laughs> Just throw those right there and keeps my sleeping drip sleeping bag mostly dry, but definitely not ideal when it's raining this much, but just gotta make the most of it. All right, just got all the food in for the night. It's still dumping rain. It's like after six o'clock now and it's freezing cold. Um, it's like 38 degrees. I'm drenched. <laughs> Definitely not the most pleasant out today. All right, guys, in for the night, it's after six and it is still downpouring, absolutely nasty out. But for dinner tonight, Last night I made that really good Korean beef bowl. That was amazing. And today, I haven't really eaten much again today, um, but I've got something very delicious. I got this bag of bread. I had some bread this morning for breakfast. And I picked up, went to the store after I got finished fishing and picked up some cheddar cheese, a big block of that. And then I picked up some tomato sauce, so. And I just realized I picked up tomato sauce and not tomato soup, which was what I was gonna make. So I'm planning on making him some grilled cheese and tomato soup, sounds really delicious. Out of this bread and this cheese and then cook it over my little pan right here. But um, I'm not sure if there's a huge difference between tomato sauce and tomato soup. I totally accidentally picked up the wrong one. <laughs> but I guess we'll find out, it should be, should still taste good hopefully. But yeah, that's what we're gonna be making for dinner tonight. And then I got a couple other snacky things to go with it and yeah, it should be delicious. Let's get into cooking. Hey guys, I'm pretty mad for getting the sauce, not soup, but I guess it could have been worse. Could have gotten a p tomato paste. That would have probably been worse, but I don't got a can opener. So I'm taking this big old knife, gonna hack into this guy. I really need a can opener in here, dude. All right, I'm just gonna dump that all into there. This is a pretty small little chunks of bread, but it'll be just kind of like little mini grilled cheese. I think that'll be really good. I'm just gonna kind of put some butter in this pan right here, toast it on each side, get all the cheese nice and melted, make a whole bunch of these and then warm up the soup. And I think that'll work. I think it'll be delicious. Open up this cheese. All 
All right, got that on there. Just gonna put that on top and make a whole bunch of these and then throw them in the pan. And yeah, I'll catch up with you guys when I get to that stuff. All right, just placed all my mini, little mini sandwiches onto the stove with some butter. And got, looks like I can fit four in there and I got four more, so it should work out perfectly. Then I'll warm up the tomato sauce, not soup, but <laughs> we'll heat that up and I think it'll still go pretty good with these sandwiches. We'll see how this goes though. Ooh, they are looking really good. Just flipped them all over. They're looking pretty dang good. I've never had any like mini grilled cheese like this, so we'll see how it goes with a baguette bread. The other reason I'm liking it is because it's really warming it up in here. I was absolutely freezing. It's like 37, 38 degrees out right now. It's only getting colder. Still raining pretty heavily and this is really feeling nice. My feet are frozen and my hands, so this is really nice. Got all my mini grilled cheese sandwiches done. All right, it is absolutely steaming in here. Get a little bit more light. Got my tomato sauce. It's definitely not nearly as sweet or as creamy as a tomato soup, which definitely to be expected. <laughs> it's totally my fault, but we're gonna dig in. I'm absolutely starving. I think this is gonna be pretty delicious. Nice hot meal and a very cold, rainy night truck camping. Honestly, this is really hitting right now. Probably because I'm starving, just about anything would taste good, but this is really good. Tough to beat grilled cheese. All right, I'm gonna finish this up and then Eat a bunch more of this and hopefully get cleaned up. Alrighty guys, here's the things we're looking in here. It has been raining for eight and a half hours straight, non-stop, not a single break. Not even a chance for me to do any dishes or anything, so I got those all sitting over here. I'm living off my last light that has a battery. And it's pretty cozy in here, not gonna lie. It's quite cold, my feet are freezing, so I'm actually broke out the heater, didn't even use it last night, but we're gonna use it today. That feels amazing. Yeah, it's cold in here. It's like, again, like I said, mid thirties. Um, but listen to some music. Gonna have some snacks, some honey mustard, honey mustard pretzels are the best. The most annoying thing in here, the rain is all the condensation buildup. It just gets really, really wet in here, really humid. I have a whole bunch of water dripping up here. You can see, I don't think it's leaking anywhere. There's just so much condensation buildup. And it's all falling right down the back of my sleeping bag. Yeah, you can saw that just drip. So I got my my rain pants right here, hopefully soaking up the most of that. But that's really the only I'm really only major issue I'm having in here. But other than that, just kind of hanging out, taking it easy, and listening to the rain. Oh man, I haven't had these in a while. One of my favorites. So nice. Just gotta take the edge off in here. Oh man, it's almost nine o'clock right now. I'm just gonna kind of keep hanging out, passing the time, and I'll catch you guys before I get to bed. Catch you guys in a bit. downpour in the last, in the last hour especially it's been really raining it's really cold in here it's gonna it's supposed to get down to like 30 to get 29 30 degrees ish tonight and there's a decent chance there's gonna be snow on the ground tomorrow so got my rain jacket up there along with my rain pants to hopefully keep my feet from getting dripped down and too wet so i will catch you guys in the morning good night
Good morning, good morning, guys. It is really, really cold in here this morning. I just fired up the heater. Definitely got some snow. <laughs> it was raining nonstop until about four or five in the morning. And then it got really cold and it turned uh, kind of like a sleet and then it turned into snow. And now we got some snow out there. Pretty crazy weather. Um, I stayed very nice and toasty warm all night. It was kind of on and off towards the morning, but overall slept pretty good most of the night. But these are things are looking like in here. The heater fired up. Whoa, does that feel really, really nice? Let's just see how much condensation gets built up. And there's outside in the woods, you can see. Got some snow out there. I think I'm gonna stay in here just a little bit longer. Just enjoy being nice and toasty and then get up for the morning. Wow. It is kind of magical out this morning. All the snow. Love these little kind of overlooks, the pine trees, Get that little fresh layer of snow. Alrighty guys, gonna start getting the drawer pulled out and start getting things ready to make up breakfast. Gonna be making up some more chocolate chip pancakes with my thimbleberry jam. It's become, become kind of my staple in my channel. It's just an absolute amazing breakfast. One of my favorite things to eat, so I'm really excited to get it going again this morning. Making a pretty big batch, so I got that. I got my chocolate chips. My thimbleberry jam from Copper Harbor. I think it lasts about like six months or so from what I found online before it starts to uh, go bad. But I mean, it still looks good. Really nice, bright and red. So I'm, and I still got this half a jar and a whole nother full jar that I got to use. So I'll be using a lot of this jam up here the next couple weeks, hopefully. Let's see, you still got a little ways to go on that pancake. That one is just uh, far from per perfection. We'll leave it at that. <laughs> We'll get a little bit of this syrup on there. Really doesn't need a lot of syrup. That was kind of a lot. Thimbleberry jam pancake number one. Looks really good. Excited to dig in. I'm absolutely starving. It never get old. There's just something about it. Really did stumble across something with this, these pancakes. This one turned out, this second one turned out so much better than that first one. Got the last one being made. Oh my word, it's so delicious. I'm gonna finish this up, get cleaned up, and I'll catch you guys in a bit. Believe it or not, having to uh, do dishes with cold water uh, when it's 30 degrees and snowing out is not pleasant. <laughs> Alright guys, all cleaned up, sloppy and muddy out, oh, it's awesome though. This has been an incredible campsite, really, I think I'm definitely going to come back to this spot. Yeah, I'm going to get on out of here, I'm not planning on going heading home quite yet, I think I'm actually going to check out a spot to go do a little bit of hiking on a, on a big river, just kind of see what it's like with all the snow, it's just really pretty out, so I'm going to do that for a little while and then head home, but incredible little spot, let's get back on the road, let's do it. Wow, that 
is beautiful. We're hiking the trail right over here. You can see the Manistee River out there. And then way up in the hills, you can still see quite a bit of snow yet up there. So beautiful out, this is incredible. My word. I'm out on a hike and I am on the Manistee River Loop Trail, uh, which is actually a one of the most well-known backpacking trails in the country, actually. It's very, very popular in the summer and fall. Look at this trail, though. This is sweet. Dang, look at this. I haven't hiked very much this trail, and I'm actually planning on backpacking it. Um, probably the next couple weeks, actually, I want to get out before the crowds take it over. It's, I think, I, I believe more than a 20-mile loop all the way around, and there's got campsites all along the river, and I am planning on backpacking and camping it. It's doing a night, spending a night or two out here. Um, so that, that might be a video coming soon, hopefully. Let, let me know if you guys want to see some backpacking videos. I really enjoy it. This trail is a lot cooler than I was expecting. This is kind of just a scout mission for my backpacking trip, hopefully in the next few weeks, just to kind of see what it's like and get a feel for it. Pretty crazy, but I've come a good distance now. I think I'm gonna turn around and head back and then head on home. But wow, this is just beautiful. Only person on the trail right now. Look at that. This is some of the better scenery you'll find in Michigan's Lower Peninsula for sure. I think this might be actually one of the campsites, one of the first campsites right here. See so a little fire right there. Nice little clearing. Whew, just finished up that really just pretty amazing little hike there. Amazing scenery. I am like really, really excited now to backpack that trail. I think I'm gonna have to do that sooner rather than later. But I am chilled to the bone once again, guys. I think I'm gonna. I think that's gonna wrap up this trip. Wrap up this video. Uh, honestly, considering I faced 15 hours straight of downpouring rain, um, <laughs> I mean it's just really the worst weather you could possibly imagine. Just 35 degrees dumping rain, sloppy snow. But honestly, this is one of the best trips I've had in the truck camper in a while. I really, really enjoyed it. Thoroughly enjoyed it. Just really relaxing and peaceful in the woods and uncomfortable and wet at times. Gonna think I'm gonna need to fit some, make my truck camper a little bit more waterproof and a few things. But had some really good meals. Uh, beautiful hike, did some exploring, some fishing. This was a really, really fun little trip and I'm excited to get back up here. Um, so stay tuned for much more to come guys. But thank you guys so, so much for watching this trip and this video. Uh, lots more to come. So make sure to like, comment, and subscribe and I will catch you guys and I'll catch you guys in the next adventure.